Good morning. I'm Leah Hoffman, and I am from the Oto, Missouri, and Pawnee tribes. I'm from the Atkins and the Carson families, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Redhorn cycle. Uh, Redhorn is one of our cultural heroes. He is uh, pretty much universal in all of our native stories from South America, North America, uh, personally from the Iowa and Oto stories, but he is um, known a lot along the um, Pacific Northwest because he was close to the coast to the coast on, in some of the stories, but he has been known all across our stories in different names, Red Horn, Red Braid, uh, the man with human heads, his earrings, um, and he is universal. He's, he's just someone that's known through all of our stories. And um, so it, it's pretty much any of, any of our stories through history could be, he can be found. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you about one of the origin stories. And <clears throat> Redhorn was with his brothers. Redhorn was the youngest of 10 brothers and they were all lived in the same lodge. And his brothers always went hunting. The nine brothers always went hunting with Yanu being the oldest and left him at home to take care of the lodge. And he was known as, he was, he was stubborn and ornery and known as the one who got hit with deer lungs because he refused to fast and his brother threw deer, deer lungs at him. And he was known as he who got hit with deer lungs. And so, a visitor came to the lodge to tell Yanu, who was a great hunter, that there was going to be a race around the world for the chief's daughter, to marry the chief's daughter. So Yanu and his brothers were called to come to the race. And they said, he who gets hit with deer lungs, stay home, take care of the lodge. But he's like, no, I'm coming. And so they followed him and they were all ashamed of him because he was coming along. And he, but he was coming and he followed them to the race. And he wore his, he wore his coat inside out with the fur on the outside and they told him, okay, you can come, but you have to stay behind and watch our things. And Turtle was there and Turtle was known to be scandalous and, and bad. So mm. all of the great spirits were there, Thunderbird and, and Lightning and, and they all raced for the hand of the chief's daughter and it was from one side of the world to the other where the sun came and they were all the race and they all started and all of the nine brothers started racing and he who got hit with your your lungs decided he was racing too and they started off and every hill that they went on turtle would be ahead of them shaking his pipe and they'd see him on the hilltop shaking his pipe mm. and they couldn't catch him and no matter how fast they ran, he would be there. And they got on top of a hill and they found a turtle in the grass. So he found that they, he was planting turtles mm -hmm. ahead of him to be another turtle ahead of them no matter where they got. And he mm -hmm. who got hit with deer lungs ran as fast as he could and he would pass his brothers. And his oldest brother got passed and he said, I'm no good, go on. If you can win this race, win it because I can't do it. And one by one, he passed his brothers and he would turn himself into an arrow and shoot the arrow and he'd pass the racers and he passed his brothers one by one and then one by one, he passed the other spirits. And so finally he got so far ahead that he shot himself as an arrow and passed Turtle and won the race. Mm. Well, Turtle wasn't having it because he had cheated his way to the front of the race and he ran up and he took the chief's daughter and dragged her home to his lodge. And he said, Yanu said, no. He said, my brother won this race. He said, where does Turtle live? And he said, Turtle lives over, you know, in this lodge over here. The chief said, go get my daughter. And so he took his ball headed war club and Yanu went over and he hit Turtle over the head. And Turtle was stunned and he said, oh, I'll give you this woman, not because I'm afraid of you, but because I want to make friends with your brother. Mm. And he sent the chief's daughter back and sent her to he who got hit with deer lungs. So he sent her back to him and he said, you know, he said, I'm not old enough to marry yet because he knew his, his brother Yanu had cast fond eyes upon the chief's daughter. 
He said, so one of you marry her. And so one by one, the brothers knowing how Yanu felt about the chief's daughter, they all said, oh, I'm too young to marry. Mm -hmm. And all the way up to Yanu, and he got to marry the chief's daughter. Mm -hmm. And so in that way, it was good. And they let him have the chief's daughter. So the chief, uh, Yanu went out and killed a deer and her hearing the story of how he got his name, she butchered the deer and took the deer lungs and threw them and hit, he who got hit with deer lungs. <laughs> and Yanu was like, why did you do that? And she said, I thought it was the joke. I thought I was supposed to do that. He said, no, that was just something we used to say. <laughs> and so he said, no, he who got hit with deer lungs is not the name that the gods gave me. And he reached and he spit into his hands and he took his ears and rubbed. He said, the name that God gave me is he who wears human heads as earrings. And human heads came down as earrings and started making faces and laughing and mm. that sticking out their tongues. And then he said, and the other name they gave me, and he spit into his hands again and rubbed his hands through his ear and they came bright red long hair is red horn. Mm. And then his brother said, that is, they loved us more than they had ever had. And they saw that he had big medicine. And he said, brother, come sit beside me, his Yanu said. And he said, he spit into his hands again and took his hands and rubbed them down Yanu's hair. And Yanu had yellow hair all down one side. And his mm. second oldest brother said, brother, I really admire what you've done. And he did it one more time and rubbed it down his second brother's hair and made his hair very, very long. And he said, this magic is not meant to be used this way and so I won't do it anymore. Oh, I had a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate you telling this story, but um, the, did he go by different names too, like Morning Star or something like that? As far as I know, he did go by a couple of different names. I don't know that he was known by Morning Star, but he was Red Horn, Red Braid, he who gets uh, hit by deer lungs, he who gets um, who he, he who has um, human heads as earrings. Um, there might have been a couple other names that he went by in different stories, but I don't know that he went by Morning Star. Okay. I think his one of his sons might have been known as Morning Morning Star. Oh, okay. Um, if uh, our uh, viewers wanted to do, you know, maybe their own little research on this, you know, do you have any places that they could go to? My favorite site is very, very well researched. It's got a funny name, but it's well researched, and it's Hot Cake H O T uh, C A K Encyclopedia dot com. And it actually has the Red Horn Cycle stories and links to hundreds of stories that actually have Red Horn in it. Now, we had talked about this earlier. You know, you said that there's uh, some other stories, so you will come back and, and tell us some more Red Horn stories? Absolutely. I have other stories with Red Horn, stories with his sons, how he got his wives. Um, there are lots of, of ties to research to where his wives came from, and, and I'd love to tell more stories. All right, well, I sure appreciate that. And with that said, I'll say I'm a doe and a hoe. <laughs>